Hey everybody, welcome to Yeshua Network. I'm Nathan Wheeler, owner of the page, and uh, we are here today on Sunday, October 8th, for the pre-lighting uh, event so that we could use this as a way to kind of jump start and let people know about October 22nd, which is the big date. For those of you who have been waiting around since 6 o'clock, thank you very much for your patience. Having a little bit of technical difficulties here with the wireless as we are outside, and um, I have some friends with me, so I'm going to introduce them real quick, and we're going to light the candle uh, for each of them. So this is my buddy Alex, and it's pure coincidence, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that we're matching shirts and all that jazz. <laughs> pure coincidence, I promise. So say hello, Alex. Hey, guys. All right. All right. Over here, we have Johnny. Hello, cute hello. boy. All the ladies. I know you guys are going to go crazy for him. Please. Cute little Johnny here. Pass the light. So some neighbors, some friends, and this is Steven. Hi, guys. Steven's a good friend of ours. Also, uh, we all kind of hang out together, work together, that kind of stuff. So really blessed to have these guys here. Thank you guys for joining us. And uh, yeah, so here we are. We're just standing in front yard. I'm going to give you guys like a little panoramic view here real quick of the, of the street. And we're literally just standing. And I'm going to actually video them so you guys can see. I'm going to switch lenses here so you guys can see what this is all about. All right. So basically just a couple of dudes standing out in the front yard holding candles like that. It looks pretty strange. I'm not going to lie, but the whole idea is that when people drive by, they're going to wonder what the heck is going on, what are these people doing, and uh, hopefully as people drive down the street with our neighbors, we'll one day do it as well. So I'm going to stay on the other side of the street right now, and if you could imagine, you're driving down the street, and you see a whole bunch of people in front of all their houses doing this on October 22nd, just something this simple. You notice we don't have any signs. I noticed that uh, some of you guys made signs, and I, I think it's really cool that you did because then... You kind of explain to people driving by what the heck is going on. Good idea. I didn't think about that. Or I was too lazy, either way. But uh, here we are. And uh, I know you guys have, uh, some of you have already done it when the sun is already set on your side of the world. And uh, we are grateful for that. I'm going to walk across the street now where there's no car so I don't die. Look at my candle. It's almost going out. I was going to say, it's never going to, re let me relight you. I got gotcha. you. Look at this. See? The beautiful thing when about this, see one year. Look at the symbolism here. Out. Look at the symbol. Go ahead, Johnny. We can relight it. We can relight it. We are the light together. That's right. And we help each other shine bright. Bam. The lights oh, yeah. come together, create a bigger flame. Mm. Synergy. Yes. Love it. So, yeah, when your light's symbolic, right, your light begins to go out. The people who you helped light their candle or their light inside of them, they can come back at you and they can help you get your light going again. So, wonderful symbolic. Uh, there's so much symbolism to this all the way around. And... Um, I know a lot of you guys are jumping on. We're getting up to three, 400 people here. You guys are awesome. Uh, also, I noticed that some of you are from the other part of the world who did your pictures today and your videos. I just want to remind you to hashtag the Be The Light and the 22. And we got a car coming. Should we see? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got a wave. Got some wave nice. See? Some wave a little wave. He's like, I don't know what they're doing. But I'm going to wave at them because they look like nice guys. Yeah, we don't look like exactly. we're creepy. Maybe a little creepy. <laughs> I was going to say I'm wearing my Coca-Cola shirt. Are you? That's, yeah, it's a little, little dirty. Sinner, sinner. It's a Sunday. Totally kidding. Hope you guys can hear us okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys very much for participating in this. And be sure to share this video. Be sure to share the uh, event page as well. If you go to Yeshua official on Facebook, you will see an event page. I'm going to pin it to the top and you guys can uh, share that with your friends, your family, get them to do this with us. And basically now you guys see exactly what we're doing. We're just standing in our front yard. As cars drive by, we're just going to wave at them, smile. If anybody stops, says, what are you guys doing? We're going to tell them about it. It's that simple. Nobody can come and protest against us. Nobody's going to show up in riot gear and get upset. Uh, nobody can tell us to go home because we're home. Or at least you guys are with us at our home. So, you know, it's it's an easy thing. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Let's take a look at what some of you guys are saying. See if you guys have any questions for us. In fact, you know what? Why don't we do this real quick? Um, let's start off with a prayer. Since the sun is actually going down behind us right now. We haven't done this yet. There's another car. How you doing? Hi. We are, we are joined with uh, millions of people all around the world right now. Lighting candles at sunset. Everybody, as the sun has been going down, we've been lighting candles as a way of saying that we're tired of the darkness in the world and we want unity. We want to share the light and spread the light. If you want to learn about it, you can go on to uh, just be the light, hashtag be the light on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, and you'll learn all about it. Yep. What's your name? Thank you, Sigi, for stopping. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Be, the be the light. There you go. That was awesome. See? It's working. Look at that. That was a perfect example. 
And just think about the impact that we Look at everybody's there. waving, it's looking at us. Wow. Now imagine your whole street doing this. Imagine the whole street doing this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Wow. Just, this just, is why I wanted to do a pre-shoot real quick, you guys. I wanted to show an example of what we had in mind here. And that way you guys can do it on October 22nd. You guys can show this video to your friends and you guys can hashtag the crud out of pictures of you holding a candle. And if your friends and your family see you doing this, they're gonna ask you personally, why are you doing it? What does it matter to you that this is happening? And my answer for me, as you guys have heard before, but I'll mention it in this video is, I am sick and I am tired of the world fighting. We're not acting like adults, we're acting like children. This world has seen enough war, it's seen enough death, it's seen enough division. And the devil is the one who wants to divide us because once we're divided, we are very easy to be conquered. Be the light, brother. <laughs> We, uh, we can very easily be conquered, but once we are united, we are impossible to conquer. Oh, look. Oh, oh Johnny, oh, hook me up. See, see. Oh, look. Oh, they get together. Yeah, okay, I was, yeah. look at that. See that? Light was <laughs> like going the dim there. Twice as bright, okay. twice as fast. <laughs> so we're going to say a prayer, and then I want to I actually give these guys some time and, and have them talk about what Be the Light uh, event means to them and why, why are they joining, joining me here tonight. So real quick, we'll lift up a prayer. If you guys would join me, I'd appreciate it since this is all real time. Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you so much for this blessed event. I thank you so much for the number 22 and October 22nd being a day that you have chosen. And I pray that you will continue to bless it and that you will allow people all over the world to see your light shine through those of us who are being obedient and submitting to your will. I pray that this would not be about any one single individual, but that every single individual would come together in hopes for a better world and a better light of your glory shining through in the dark world. I pray that you would mend all the broken homes, all the broken churches, all the broken families. I pray that you mend uh, the broken countries. Um, and I pray that you mend, above all things, the body of Christ. If we can be united, our families will be stronger, our communities will be stronger, our lives will be filled with definitely far more joy. I know that when I'm plugged into the body, as I am here tonight with the Yeshua Network and all the people out there in the world who are standing with me in your name, I can feel the love of God just pulsing through me and radiating all around me. And for that, I am so grateful and I will remain grateful. And I am thanking you from the bottom of my heart that you allowed my brothers to be here with me tonight and uh, that we get to stand on the side of the road as people are driving by and already we're getting people talking to us. So thank you so much. May this spread, Yeshua, for your name and your glory and your kingdom's sake. And in the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Awesome, guys. All right, so this is Alex. Hi, guys. Alex, why did you join us tonight? Well, I, uh, I, I know Nathan for a long time, but I was particularly uh, moved and inspired by the simplicity of this. Hold on one second. Keep going. Hold on. I'm going to switch it around here. So there you go. And um, I thought it was beautiful, and uh, I, I think it's going to be great for the world for people to come together in this simple, simple thing. And just uh, without making any political slogans, as you've said, and without, you know, finding somebody to be upset at, we just come together and remember that we're all here in the same existence. We're all borrowing time here on this, in this place, whatever it may be, and we are more alike than we are different. So this awesome. maybe reminds people of that. Beautiful. Johnny, why'd you come out here tonight with us, Coca-Cola? It's absolutely beautiful as these cars go by. Um, and they wave at us? They, Isn't that great? They wave, well, a perfect metaphor was, um, I think, what was her name, Siggy, I yeah. think? Her stopping, I mean, the, the most beautiful thing is to see somebody's face physically change, to see them resonate on a level um, that is exactly with peace, with the candle. It's such a simple metaphor. Exactly like uh, like he said, and you know it's uh, it's a pleasure to it's a pleasure to be here and be a part of this. But more importantly, uh, I think the world needs this right now more than anything. So for us to come together and simply be this here and feel it um, and share that with others, it's it's everything the world needs and it's all that we need. So amen, brother. Thank you. Hi everyone. It's a simple simple act of lighting a candle. It just is lives the light. In darkness, there's light. So that as much as that. Then it comes from the spirit. It conveys you. It will carry you through the darkness. So accept it and let it be through you, and it will let you, lead you and guide you well in your life. It's not to be. It's to bring us together rather than to be divisive. That's not the point. The point is the more people are accepting, however they are, it's for the better, and it's for betterment of everyone. So can't argue with that.
Amen, brother. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. I appreciate it. All right. So we got some more cars coming by. Got a nice tow truck. All right. Hello. I love it. The look on people's faces. They're, they're like, I don't know if I should be creeped out or if it's a pretty cool thing. Right? Like, uh, it's four, four dudes who are dressed all right. The candles. The is the fact that it's different. It, it's, it, it is different. It, it's different in the way that... Jeez, We're not standing here with any kind of a sign. I feel like nowadays, especially being a young person, yeah. um, in the last, in my, my entire adult life, all I've seen is people protesting this, that, the other. I think what we need to do as opposed to protesting something, I think we need to be pro-peace, pro-love, pro-truth. Um, pro and w there are innate <clears throat> truths. There are innate truths that we know as a human race. Um, regardless of your color, it's not, it's that, you know, that's not your race, that's your color, and God loves you for everything. Um, but but this, as opposed to being anti, we be pro. It it, it enables us. Like it gives us actionable steps. Um, and as we relight our candles over here, um, that's the it, it's things like this that are pro that can that can really make <clears throat> a difference and and and, and empower um, people who, quite frankly, unfortunately, don't know what to do. So for us to be a part of this and for all of you watching. Um, to come and be involved on the 22nd it um would give us direction in a way that is not anti anything it's pro what we already are which is humanity and um and and quite frankly the the doers of 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 god that's what we are we yeah. are we are all all that so god bless all of you i love you um and keep shining hallelujah look at this light getting bright so uh, hopefully you guys get a nice good example. Um, I'd love to hear from some of you as well if you guys want to leave your comments about how your experience was today if you had done this um, and uh, and I'll tell you it's a pretty cool thing like you know when you actually do something you imagine it to be one way but when you actually are doing it it ends up being a little bit different than what you imagine and it's really cool that as we are standing here all of our candles are kind of fluctuating in and out. And um, it is pretty symbolic. There's so, so much symbolism to just this lighting of a candle thing that when one of our candles begins to go out a little bit, uh, you know, we just look to the person next to us and say, hey, can you give me a little boost on the I mean, flame? It's actually crazy. Huh? Isn't it crazy? I mean, it's actually really it's cool. It's awesome. It's um, great. Yeah. I, I feel like we're discovering this <clears throat> as it's happening. Right. And, we're, and, and it's really cool that this is live for everybody to experience our discovery of this process. Yeah. Um, and I think that's exactly what it's going to be when we, when we get around to that day. Amen. Amen. So, you know, the street is usually filled with people driving really fast and not looking very happy. Right. And I've, seen, I've seen more <laughs> smiles on this street just now than I think I've ever seen living here for, I don't know, 10 years or whatever it's yeah. been. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's we always have really people great. racing down this hill, and uh, and there's no sidewalk. I don't know if yeah, you guys I'm, can I'm see. There's the no the sidewalk here. This is like one of those like country roads, right? And uh, yes, I live in LA, but there are there are such kind of roads in LA to be found. So, but uh, Alex is totally right. Normally, cars are just streaming by fast, and you know all that kind of stuff. And I would show you the people passing by, but they may not want to be on camera for millions of people Respect. to see. So. And the look, I love the look. Yeah, we it's get so the look. awesome. They're either smiles or waves or just perplexed. Yes. <laughs> but no, <laughs> but nobody's happened? missing this. Nobody's throwing anything at us. <laughs> oh yeah, we we definitely feel the presence of God here. It's a, it's an awesome thing. Something so simple, uh, and yet so powerful at the same time. It's a really really blessed thing. Two or more. That's right. Um, I guess. Do you guys have uh, any questions? Uh, I'm able to actually read your comments. So if you guys have any questions uh, for any of us. Uh, welcome. I know there's some people all over the world. Why wow, you guys are like some people still in Europe, some people on the East Coast, somebody from Australia. Shalom. Jehovah Nasi, Shalom. I seen a family walk by the light. Uh, what are you doing? Huh? I don't understand that. God bless you from Connecticut. Welcome. A light shines in LA. Amen. Hmm. City of Angels, right? Oh no, he's saying like I'm, I've seen a family going like, "What are you doing?" That's oh, what he's saying. yeah, the family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Boston, Hawaii, Texas. Look at this, all over the world. Wow. It's it, totally happening. Thank you guys so much. Philadelphia. That's incredible, Sarah. Oh, that's happy birthday, Sarah, on October twenty second. Hello from Philadelphia. She's what's happening? Oh, we're doing we're doing this. You got to go to Yeshua Official. Uh, on Facebook and click on our event page October 22nd. There's no tickets, nothing you have to buy, nowhere you have to travel. 
You don't have to you don't have to go and do anything but step outside in front of your house with a single candle and just stand there. And uh, the best thing to do is actually just smile and nod and have people look at you a little stranger. Stop and you, you we, I think we made that lady's night. Yeah, that was awesome. Guy, she made like, she made our night too. It's like, yeah, it's such a I, I I do this all the time. I'll thing. walk into I'll, I'll walk into a fast food restaurant. and There's somebody working there, and um, I I love this by the way because I do this all the time. I walk in and I and I'll speak to them and, and I'll say hi, how are you? And they'll be all oh, good. They'll kind of be in their zone, and it gets to the point. Look at them, and you actually kind of engage them, and you don't engage them up here. You engage them here, and I, people that are watching will know what I mean. Um, but you'll say no, how are you? And you'll watch this person come to life. Um, I think to be able to have this be that. Um, I hope I'm not being too vague, but people that understand will understand. Um, to be able to have her experience that, to watch her come to life um, with the the nature of, of, of God, the, the Holy Spirit that's with us, um, I think uh, I think for people to be able to resonate that through this and feel that, and we can all come together. Um, my gosh, could you imagine a world where everybody just, just feel, feels that level of peace? Be nice. It would be absolutely incredible. Totally possible. Let's get there, y'all. Totally possible. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I'm going to let you guys go. The sun is about to go down, and all that will be left is a bunch of scary-looking guys like this, so stand on the side of the <laughs> road. I really want to thank you all, and I know we all want to thank you. Guys, want to say goodbye to, the, goodbye. to this worldwide audience right Bye, now? Guys. Thank you so much. All right, you. Yeshuans, followers of the way, Christians all around the world, you guys, thank you so much. And if you guys made a video or if you did a, a picture and you put it on your uh, social media, please add that hashtag, and please let people know in your, your description of your video or your picture about October 22nd. And feel free to share this video. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining, hopefully it was educational, and hopefully it inspires some of you guys. If you, if you weren't on board already, hopefully it will inspire some of you to join us. October 22nd, do the exact same thing you saw us do here tonight. If you want to make a sign, awesome, make signs. I know some of you already did. Otherwise, just do this. And uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a brother and sister in Christ with me and joining me in this. And uh, let's, let's take over this darkness and push that away. All right, guys, be blessed. Be the blessing. Be the light. Have a good one. Shine bright, y'all. <laughs> good night. Bye, guys.